Eric Crohn's. I'm Jason Perry. I'm Kelly Weaver. I'm Alex Sandstrom. I used to play guitar in a band called Thermocline in Ottawa, Canada. We had distributions through Sony and our label Stamler Records. And that was something that we were fortunate enough to have Much Music sponsor us and put a video on Much Music, which was very helpful to our career and helped us get endorsements with companies like Line 6, Mesa Boogie, and Ernie Ball. So because we had that gear, it really helped get things to the next level. That was my first professional band, and I learned a lot from that experience. Yeah, cause I want to, and I learn to, and I feel so good, but I think I should expect to forget you, but I feel so good, and I know I should, cause if you want me back, then smoke some crack and take a nap, cause I'm a dream that won't come back. I met a producer named Frankie Biggs, who was out of Detroit area in Toledo, he was working with Universal at the time. So I came down here and we just started writing some songs, initially working on some soundtracks, and then Cronus was born from that. We did a song called Yours Forever and said, okay, this sounded so great at Studio A that we decided to go up to Ottawa, track the whole project with the producer named Tim Greencorn. And then we went out to LA and we shot, uh, let's see what we did there. We did a bunch of footage out there as well for this and we also got a chance to record a few more audio files for that and mix the rest of the album with Jay Rustin out there. After that, you know, I listened to the CD and I thought it was one of the best things I've ever heard and that I had to be a part of this project. And so we decided to move everything down here to Toledo so we could be by Frankie and we started looking for other players to complete the project. So while we're doing it, you know, we're going to audition a couple of drummers, we auditioned a couple of guitar players, but then we met this kid right here, Jason Parrott. Long hair craziness, that's what we really want. The first time I talked to Aaron was on the phone. And it was apparent that he was very serious about the band, and I'm very serious about leaving the band. And uh, he told me he'd already auditioned several people, and uh, his friend Alex Sandstrom, playing guitar, ended up having the part before they were even done jamming. And I thought, this is great. Let's come up and meet. I, I hung up the phone and came up here to Toledo, and uh, we met up with the band, and we decided from that moment that we were going to take over the world.